It took more than six years, but Caribbean Airlines is taking a second try at London's lucrative but competitive travel market. On Thursday evening, passengers travelling on the inaugural service were treated to entertainment by the King of Soca, cultural ambassador Marshall Montano. The first of the airline's two weekly flights departed Piaco International Airport last evening, 65% full. Chairman Rabindra Munan says it's positive news at a time when the airline industry is struggling. But the transport minister, Devant Miraj, said the airline's management will be policed to ensure the route is profitable. So you would have seen and heard about the termination of the Montego Bay to Philadelphia route and other routes that are not profitable would also meet a similar fate. And I put them on notice that if this London to Port of Spain route does not make a profit within the specified time in your business plan, we will have to re-examine it. We cannot carry any route that is not profitable. The airline had originally planned six weekly flights but reduced it to just two. In the face of mounting skepticism, Chairman Munan is hoping the route will see a quick turnaround to profit. The transport minister believes this route could be the rebirth of Caribbean Airlines, but he says it's a bittersweet moment that Caribbean Airlines has to fly into Gatwick because of the sale of the Heathrow slots. The sale of the Heathrow slots for five million when it should have been sold for 50, 43 million. I wouldn't go into that, Mr. Chairman. I wouldn't go into the fact that we felt at that time that our patrimony was robbed and squandered away for pittance and that we will deny access to the all-important Heathrow Airport. Could you imagine what Caribbean Airlines would be today if we were flying into Heathrow Airport in an Olympic year? This would be a premium airline that others would be looking to jump on board. Passengers were greeted with steel pan and a welcome ceremony in London. The airline says it is also looking at other routes in Europe to help boost the country's tourism industry.